Hello! Hi! <laughs> I'm recording this just for the sake of my own preservation, but I think that I can upload this to Twitch. If not, then hello YouTube. I have no idea. But this is a tour of my Animal Crossing New Horizons home that is themed after the anime slash manga Nana. So, starting off with Apartment 707, of course. I obviously had to take some creative liberties along the way, but hopefully the whole idea gets across. Uh, of course we have the iconic table and uh, seating area with two mugs. Unfortunately there's no glasses in this game so they just have mugs uh, both of which do not have the <laughs> the strawberry pattern either but we make do uh, there's also the window area in the background with the Tanabata for uh, the summer festival episode over here we have the Blackstone's cake and then of course the kitchen area and the <laughs> weirdly placed um, bathroom sink <laughs> that is in the living room. <laughs> so we'll go back here first, this hidden room, which I was going to make the bathroom, but instead I kind of made it this homage to Nana and Ren's industrial apartment adding the clawfoot bathtub and a rose mat. I think that symbolized them both really well. There's a lot of music related items in here. The furniture is kind of mismatched because that's just kind of how they were. They didn't really care to have expensive matching things. And of course the suitcase because Ren is leaving, <laughs> going to Tokyo. Uh, the two side rooms I kept uh, uh, like in line with the apartment 707 so this side is Nana's bedroom. I had to take a lot of creative liberties with this because her bedroom is just plain white with a bed in it <laughs> so I kind of just made things themed how you know, with things that just reminded me of her, so of course we've got KK Metal playing. Um, <laughs> this is kind of like how her room actually is, <laughs> just record boxes. <laughs> and her guitar. Uh, this power suit jacket, I believe it's called, reminds me of her iconic Vivian Westwood jacket with the heart-shaped lapel. I thought that was like good to have without trying to make a pattern myself and then this outfit here with the cap is for when she goes to pay Ren some sneaky visits <laughs> and of course a little vanity area to make herself beautiful uh, leopard print flooring and also this wedding rug that's like red with roses on it I thought that was a nice touch instead of just having the red rose rug again. Where we go along to the other side, we have Hatchie's bedroom, which is one of my favorite rooms of this house. Uh, I really lent into the whole thing about her part-time job at the secondhand furniture store. <laughs> So lots of mismatched cutesy furniture um, in colours that I think she would have really liked too. Above her bed, can't quite have the trap nest poster so I went with like this music autograph thing instead. I figured that kind of works. <laughs> and mum embroidery items which fit the like secondhand cutesy theme and then also bring in the fact like the closeness she has with her family particularly her mother 
And yeah, just cute, bright, some outfits over here that I think she'd wear. Uh, oh, I forgot to take her Christmas stockings down, it seems. <laughs> but just like casual baking apron. And then these two are like when she has her office. Well, the top one is her office part-time job. The bottom one is something I think she'd just wear. And then the suit, obviously, for her office job as well. Upstairs we have a room that I had in this house before I made it entirely Nana themed. So this room is like the reason why this house exists the way it does. <laughs> Because as soon as I saw that leopard like flooring was in the game, like I don't know what that it was about that that just triggered me <laughs> just immediately into this like hyper focused zone of Nana. Uh, so upstairs, yeah, is the Blackstones Museum. We have all the instruments and everyone's clothes up on the wall here. I'm very dressed for the occasion up here. I do have, oops, on my magic wand. Oh, which is a red rose, very fitting. <laughs> I do have a Nana costume that I can wear at will. <laughs> and of course the cherries for the cigarettes. We have a bouquet of red roses here. He's just chilling because he's spooky. But yeah, I love this room. It just, it makes me feel so happy. <laughs> and of course another red rose rug. Downstairs is a room that people tend to enjoy if they're n not familiar with the anime. Um, and of course if they are familiar <laughs> as well. But it's just a room that people tend to like the most. So. Either way, I'm very excited because it's Jackson's Hole, the western themed burger bar, <laughs> which exists in real life too. I want to go there someday. But of course we have our dark woods and all of our weird secondhand vintage items. I like to think at the back here is like the autographs of black stones that Hatchie insisted <laughs> be placed in the uh, in the restaurant. Uh, sadly not that many food items so I can't really hit home with the kinds of food that they serve here like it's kind of like there's a, a sandwich on the cutting board we have an omelet being fried and someone's eating a cupcake like <laughs> that's just uh, oh and a chocolate cake <laughs> but that's just how things are in Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> And I've got a little cowboy hat and shoes up on the wall. Lots of like crammed in just like clutter wherever I could really. Which I think fits the vibe of Jackson's Hole. And that's it. That's my Nana themed house. <laughs> um, no plans to change it anytime soon. But I just wanted this little video as a record because I love it and I hope you do too. So if I post this then cool, thanks for watching <laughs> and uh, I'll see you around online. Bye!